this class, we are going to be looking into urgency problem. As you can see, the figure showing at the right corner of the screen. Now, we want to reproduce that figure. As you can see, my first task here is to what? Draw, um, as you can see, that point, that one does not have any certain line. So it's actually a baseline, right? A starting line. So now let's draw a line this way. So take my T square, draw a um, line. So let me take it this way, a front line. Right, as you can see, let me pick a point. If I pick this point here, let me pick this point here. Sorry. Let me pick this point as you can see my point. Now, at that point, I'll measure a distance of what? 11, 1.12. As you can see, that's, that means 11.2. Right? On my meter rule. Let me extend this line. I'll measure 11.2. Extend this line on my meter rule. Right? Let me show you. 11.2 meter row. From here to here is 11. Then point two one two. I have this here 11.2. So automatically I will thicken it. Thicken it. So I have this man here. I have this as you can see what I'm having. Now my next tax here. What to do now? My next tax here is to what? Simply take my um, set square, this one here, take it this way, draw a vertical line up, paint one, paint one, come to this point here, draw a vertical line, paint, please, I have this. So the height from here to somewhere here, as you can see my arrow indicating, the height there is given to be what? 25. So I'll measure 25. 25 from this point here to this point is 25. I have 25 at that point. So cover it up, taking it, take it, close it up. Sorry, no, no, don't close it, just draw a front line. Don't take it, draw a front line this way. Then taking those sides, the sides, you can take them. As you can see, it is taken. So we are taking it. I have this taking this side here too. I have this. So my next tax here, my next tax. My next tax here to do is to simply um at this point here, the resistance of what of 10, as you can see my arrow indicating that 10. So at that point. I will measure 10 from this point here to this point. Let me use this. From this point here to this point is 10. Right? That 10, I will draw a vertical line upward. Vertical line upward from that point 10. Vertical line upward. I have this vertical line upward. So my next task here is to measure the distance now from this baseline here to somewhere up here is 100 right so now let's measure 100 from this baseline here so let me take this point up this one to take it up right take it up so i can use it to measure my 100 right so from let's measure 100 from this, this is 100, then this is my 100, taking it this way, this is my point 100, right? So, I did not need this line, rather, I need this line, right? So, transfer that point, that point here to this place by drawing what? Long one, short one, long one, what's that? Short one, so I need this point here. Not this man, yeah. 
right so i need this point here so now at that point i need i will draw a circle of radius what nine so i'll take my compass and measure nine on my meter rule as you can see from this point to this point here it's nine right nine so it's nine right to take at this point draw a faint circle faint one this way right the next tax here i will draw what a circle of radius six so yes six here i'll take it at this point so i can arc up come up here i have this right so my next tax after drawing my circle my two circles i will take my compass i will measure 100 as you can see there's a arc coming through here which is 100 so from this point then to this point here it's 100 right so at this point strike the arc of that 100 right so see this way i have this i have this right so my next tax here is to measure out um radius of 104 as you can see that 104 started from somewhere here so let me just take my take my Connect this line straight. If I connect this line straight this way, so let's measure one hundred and four. That's four point four four forty fourteen. Other fourteen. You can see from here to here is fourteen. So at this point, measure um that same fourteen. One hundred and four. So at this point to this point, measure for one and four from this point here to this point. Yes, you can see one and four. So at this point, you can see take it at this point, strike an arc this point so I can arc this way right so I can arc so I have this I have this as you can see so my next tax here after doing that at the same point I'll measure 10.5 so 10.5 from here to somewhere here is 10.5 at that same point I will draw I will see the point let me show the point at that same point I will cut an arc this way right so the arc I've cut now the next tax here is to um take in some aspect we find that the there's an there's a um connect there's a connector here this joint is not like this it's connected somewhere around so of radius what six so measure six six from here to here is six right so I'll put at this point, strike my arc, just draw this like this first. Then at this point, strike an arc. At the other point here, draw the arc with that same radius. So where they meet, I need to draw thick arc. This way, I have. 
have this that cuff part. This one too is having a cuff part of 15. So measure 15. Right? You are 15. At this point, draw this. So at this point here, strike an arc. Right? At this same point here, strike an arc. So where they meet, have this. have this. So now I can easily take in this part. I can take in this part. Right? So take my measure 10.5 or per half, you just gauge it from this point here to where this one meet this. Right? Taking it. it I have this right then stop I need to check in I'm checking this right and taking it very well taking it very well I have this taking this one here so I have this Right, I have this. So next task here is to come to this point here, extend it to where this point is meeting. Taking that two. So taking this. So I have taken all the points. So my next task is that I need to join these circles together. How? From this point. Here, yeah. measure the edges so. so take it this way, as you can see, take it this part, likewise, come to this point here, make this dimension. Now simply what erase all this erase all this and another part two erase them erase it and have this right so let's dimension um the drawing so to dimension this simply take your um, possible material from here So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscription button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy.